Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Monday, August 12th, 2019. I am the Drunk Pokeroo. It is beer time. So we're playing Drink the Fridge. we got like three or four days left to do this. We're barely, being very successful. There's We've cleared a lot of beer out. Um, so the one rule was it wasn't about drinking the cellar beers. It wasn't about taking the beers out of like the cellar section where we put beers, you know, like big boozy bastards that we're saving for later in the year, just treats, you know, like the, the big ABV beers. However, if one of those beers happened to be in the fridge when we started this, I was more than comfortable to drink it because that meant it was in the fridge for a reason. It was put in there to be drunk. It wasn't there randomly because whenever I have a cellar beer, it goes right in the cellar. There's a, it's not a lot of beers. There's maybe 30, 34, 30, 40 beers down there that are saving for, you know, not special occasions, but nice days. I'll probably drink one this week. So, Spencer, the only Trappist monk brewery in uh, America, one of the few outside of Belgium. Uh, we got this December-ish. Uh, it's their Imperial Stout, 9%, 8.7% ABV. It's at a mass at two sits. And yeah, best before 08, 02, 20. So we're still in that range, but uh, as much as, you know, I probably should have put it in the cellar, it's in the fridge. It's in the fridge, fair game. I even got a glass. They sent me a glass. Well, no, the, the importer sent me a glass. That was nice of them. And a couple of beers. Probably this one. Um, so, yeah. So, it's just been sitting there, and I'm like, eh, might as well. I mean, take advantage of the fact that I, I put it in the fridge and forgot about it. So now I get to drink it. To be fair, I've had this before. Uh, when it first came out, I bought it because it was cool. It came with a glass. It was a beautiful pack. Three different beers, I think. So nice, dark, rust, dark roasted chocolate notes. A little bit of coffee, maybe some licorice, light smoke. Okay, let's go to cheers, my friends, to, to drink the fridge. Sometimes you get a big, a boozy. I'll buy a stir. That's nice. That's aged quite nicely. I think probably got this in late 2018. So eight, nine, ten months old. Or maybe a little older since it's been brewed, I don't know. I'm still very rich. Uh, dark chocolate, bitter coffee. Um, there's definitely some licorice. A, a bit more smoke than I remember from last time. A bit more of that smoky malt coming through, which I don't mind now in doubts. It's weird. I don't like smoked beers. Uh, we were talking about this on the Instagrams the other day. Uh, I don't like a smoked beer, but the smokiness in, in, the, in, the, in the big stouts, I don't mind. This is, this is a nice beer. Now, in the pantheon of Imperial Stouts, there are a few that are better, um, and, and local to me, and obviously, you know, like, I mean, we had Bolshevik Bastard the other day, a very good uh, Long Dark Voyage from Sawdust, but this is a nice Imperial Stout. It's very easy drinking. For the ABV, it goes down pretty quick. Uh, gotta be careful, slow sipping, slow sipping, slow sipping. Excuse me, just what a day. I didn't get home till late, and what I did is I took this out of the fridge. Put, put it on the table downstairs while I went and had a shower and got cleaned up, and then I came back down. So I let it warm up a little bit, because, you know what, drinking this cold would have been a disservice to the beer. And luckily, letting it sit for a good almost year didn't do it a disservice, so I'm lucky in that way. So cheers, my friends. Uh, we may be back later on. I don't know. There's a small bottle here, so we can always have another beer. But you never know where the winds will take us. Cheers, my friends. Monk and good.